I'm flying solo for today's Sweet Tooth Thursday, which is something I haven't done in quite a long time. Another thing I haven't done in quite a long time is make this video out here on the deck. Or as one viewer put it, the place where I look like I've been kidnapped. Don't worry, I haven't been. I have two very good reasons why I do not have the kids with me for today's Sweet Tooth Thursday. The first reason is Nabisco's Chipstar Hot Chili Flavor, and the second reason is Koyakea's Karamuchu's hot chili flavor. I'm doing the battle of the spicy today. So today I'm not just gonna review these, I'm gonna see which one makes me beg for mercy quicker, or makes me want milk faster. Same thing. I think I've reviewed a chip star before. It's almost like economy Pringles. A little bit cheaper than Pringles, basic same idea. These I think are just regular chips. And judging by the picture on the front, all those different lovely spices and herbs and things that are gonna make you cry, this one's probably a lot spicier, so I'm gonna go with this one first. At least, you know, I'm just I'm just guessing. So I go, of course, packaging and packaging, but that's normal for these style chips. The first sniff tells all. Doesn't tell me much. I mean, they've got a little bit of orangey redness to them, but they don't smell that spicy. I mean, I can spell, spell, I can, I can spell hot chili, but I can also smell it a little bit. But apparently I cannot speak clearly. It smells like hot chili pepper, but well, the proof is in the tasting. You can't just eat one and say, oh, there's no spice. You gotta give it a second. It does take time for these things to really kick in. Those first two chips, really not much. Oh. Getting a little bit of the burn at the back of the tongue. That's less than regular Tabasco. They taste good. They taste like chili, chili powder, chili pepper, whatever. But unless you're an absolute wuss when it comes to spiciness, you are not gonna find this hot at all. I mean, that mild burning sensation at the back of my tongue is pretty much gone already, and I've only been chewing on them for like 30 seconds. Not even. They're pleasant, they're not very spicy. They have a slight bit of spice bite to them, but not much. Which is actually a really nice thing if you want to enjoy the spicy bite without overdoing it. Because I find a lot of spicy things just really go overboard to the point where you can't even taste things anymore and you're just in incredible pain. If you're looking for a strong spicy burn in your mouth, this is not it. But if you're looking for a nice, pleasant, spicy, slightly spicy chip, this is actually pretty good. I like it. Now, let's see how these ones go. These ones have me a little more worried. Koi Kea Karamuchu something something hot chili. I don't know what those first two kanji are and it's really hard to get the right angle there. If you can read them, well then you've done more studying of Japanese than I have. Oh wait, they're not chips. I thought they were chips. These are like these sticks. Like overly fried French fry thin sticks. Oh, geez. it was right there with that pack to begin with the picture. I, I didn't even really notice. Oh, show so much I was paying attention. don't really smell the hot chili. I smell some kind of spice. Nothing. I better just have a bunch at once because I don't think I'm going to taste any spice otherwise. Nothing. I am disappointed, actually. This picture showing here like these different chili peppers and spices and everything. I'm expecting some major burn in my mouth here. Should have kept in mind that this is Japan and they don't really do overly spicy stuff all that often. Yeah, if they made it killer spicy, it wouldn't sell. Mm, I'm getting okay. I'm getting a little bit of the afterburn. Afterburn? Afterburns. So it's flying off fast with a big trail of fire going out the end. No, that would be me if it was really spicy. <laughs> That was terrible. It's a little oilier than these, which is normally the case. Regularly fried chips are oilier than, I don't even know how you describe the process of making these things extruded chips. I'm not even sure. As for the taste, this just basically tastes like chili pepper. This, you can taste there are other spices and other flavors going on in there. So it's a slightly more interesting taste just from originality point of view, I guess. Cause like this is just straight out chili pepper taste. This is more blended. Even so, I like this better and I am declaring the Nabisco Chipstar Hot Chili Chips the winner of today's spicy challenge or whatever the heck I called this. It was spicier, it was less greasy, even though this has a more blended taste, a more slightly more interesting taste, I enjoyed this more. Would I buy them again? Well, I can't actually say again because I never bought them in the first place because Kumiko found them and bought them for me. She likes buying me spicy stuff. I think she thinks I like to hurt my mouth. Of course, they're not a lot spicy, so it didn't hurt. This one, again, absolutely. This one, maybe not. It's a little greasy for me. Now that I've had these, I don't know about the smaller kids, but I could have shared them with Lilia. She eats kimchi. You can't find some good kimchi here. Lilia will eat that. She could have had this. Maybe I'll give some to her tomorrow and post a little extra video. That's a plan. <coughs> I cleared my throat and somehow some spicy went into my throat. Mm. So it does have some bite if it hits you in the vulnerable areas. That's not bad. I'm okay now. So, sorry mom. The kids aren't here to say bye-bye grandma. It's just me. Bye-bye mom. <laughs> and everybody else.